tit for tat. That's one way to describe the first shots in what's brewing to be a tariff war between the world's two largest economies. The U.S. struck first with a 25 percent tax on certain Chinese imports worth $50 billion. China's counterpunch, an announcement that 659 types of U.S. goods, also worth $50 billion, will be subject to tariffs. The first round comes into effect on the 6th of July and affects products ranging from soybean to seafood to cars. Yeah, China feels like it's, been the it's at the strongest point that it's been in hundreds of years. Uh, it feels like it's ascendant, and so it's not likely to back down. Some of the tariffs will likely bite Chinese consumers. The higher tax on soybean imported from the U.S., some of which is used for pig feed, could ultimately drive up the price of domestic pork. But the tariffs could also hurt American farmers if China, the U.S.'s largest buyer of soybeans, finds substitute sellers elsewhere. U.S. President Donald Trump has been hammering China on trade for months. We need protection. Everybody's taking advantage of us. The European Union made $151 billion on us last year. The, uh, if you look at, I told you about China, you look at Japan, you look at South Korea, you look at so many, and we help these countries militarily on top of everything else. At what point does it stop? The U.S. tariffs target industries tied to China's Made in China 2025, a blueprint to dominate high technology industries. They're also intended to punish the Chinese for what the U.S. calls intellectual property theft and unfair trade practices. One trade expert says a U.S. trade battle with China will impact global markets. It creates instability, uncertainty, it reduces uh, particularly investment, I mean uncertainty for long-term investors, private business, capital expenses and these types of things. Trump's summit in Singapore may have strengthened his determination to act. For years, the U.S. looked to China to help restrain North Korea. But convinced he has built a relationship with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, Trump perhaps feels he's in a stronger position to be tougher on trade with China. The trade war seems to have only just begun. Trump has threatened to slap taxes on more goods if China goes ahead with the tariffs. Chinese state media, meanwhile, says China has taken note of the statement and reserves its right to take corresponding measures. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera, Beijing.